Let's play some 10 minute games on Shogi Wars. Should we go back to one of our old favorite openings? I know we've been playing third file rook a lot, and in general that's helped our winning chances. But this is an old favorite. Why shouldn't we play it? Notice this bishop is not defended, so it does give me a tempo to try to do something. <laughs> That's quite a palace there. That is an impressive palace. Oh, wow. I don't think I've seen that before. Again, I keep getting told this pawn move only speeds up the opponent's attack. I'm also told that if you don't push the pawn, the king does not have a square to run to late in the endgame. So, it's possible both these things are true. Um, it's just difficult to process, that's all. So here, I'm between castles. I've built a glob of all of my pieces in the center of the board. Our opponent has built this nice, beautiful shape, and it's just waiting for me to attack. And I'll get there. Give me time. Just need like a thousand moves. I'll get there. Don't worry. I'll attack. Oh, <laughs> never mind. You get to attack first. <laughs> uh, thankfully, that's check, or I would be losing a piece here. Um, I should maybe pay a little bit more attention in the future. Uh, actually, that's a fork. Yeah, they have to block this way, don't they? Um, so already I have an initiative. And it would be fantastic if I could move back the silver without getting my bishop trapped. But that's not the world we live in here. So my path forward is going to be put the silver at this forward square and retreat the bishop and come up with some plan to attack somewhere. Um, yeah, our opponent's just taken a tremendous amount of space. And I need a plan. If they move this gold up, um, I could take the knight. Wait, no, what was I looking at? Yeah, uh, I was looking at lines where I could end up with a knight here at some point. Um, all right, so they're building a fortress the hard way. I'm opening up my castle. I uh, debated pushing this pawn to 5-5, five, five, even though I don't think I can sustain it. Um, it'd be great if I could, I just don't think I can. Plus, pushing would allow them to drop a pawn here at some point. All right, let's drop the rook back to safety. Yeah, it would be great to have an attack. I just don't think I have one. Maybe I should have pushed this, got my rook chased up and back. But maybe that's very silly. Um, yeah, this is a weakness. It's good to target that. Um...
Hmm. Okay, we're going to try this. This is a bit risky. Um, I have to try something. Oh. Maybe I should have foreseen that. Uh, great. Nanafun. All right. This might incidentally give me the ability to take the square. Um. All right, what the hell? Let's try it. How bad can this be? Uh. So the knight's trapped. Let's take it. Snatching the knight in broad daylight. And without even a scratch. Okay, now that is a scratch. Um... Oh, holy crap, that's impressive. Um... That's impressive just how much damage that deals. Oh, wait a second. It's complicated, but... I think I emerge far better in this line. So this dodges the fork in advance, but anticipates a different fork here. And I guess from that I'm going to run and hit this. I was debating moving these generals in response to this fork. But, well, no, actually if they drop a silver here I take twice. Don't I? I get a free knight that way. Um, yeah, this is the safest way forward. All right, I've taken two pieces. They did get a gold general. It's not perfectly safe, but what is? So, in theory, they could drop this gold and chase my rook, which could be more than a bit silly. Gofun. Um,
Hmm. <laughs> That's funny. That seems to be my best move. Because this opens a path for the Rook. Um, out of nowhere, right? And then, look, I've blocked my Rook, but um, we're starting to encircle the, both the King and the pieces protecting the King. If the silver moves, I can drop a pawn, and then I could drop a piece here. Oh. I mean, taking the pawn is a kind of movement. Um, I could do that. Interesting. This looks interesting, too. They could drop a gold to win the bishop. At that point, I do this exchange, and then I drop a silver here, which is another fork. Uh, they could also move this gold and let me take the rook. I like my rooks. This is another option. It's not perfect, but it's interesting. Nifun Sanjubio. Hmm. What the heck? Let's try it. They had to be tried, right? But how could you possibly talk me out of this? I don't know. Oh, actually, my bishop covers this square. Oh, this is better than I thought. We'll take it. A win's a win. One down, two to go. Let's go. Good luck.
Activate the Rook. Whoa. Oh my. Oh boy. It would be great to have a way to continue this attack indefinitely. Actually, yeah, why not? Let's do it. It's just a rook. If only this attack amounted to something, their position could be so good. Um, but I think this is an even position. Just a very difficult one for them to defend. So this does set up a check over here, but also I'm, I am threatening to chase the knight, which doesn't have anywhere to go. They don't have a rook drop because I can defend any of these pawns at an instant's notice. Um, mm -hmm. My silver covers the right half of the board. My generals cover everything else. I'm still chasing the knight. I do defend against a rook drop on this square if my pawn ends up having to recapture this bishop. Or rather, if they take here and I have to recapture. Uh huh. Forward we go. They do want to break this file open. But then I can drop a pawn here and then take here. Also I can drop a pawn here and promote and continue this attack even stronger. Alright, let's take that.
This is complicated. All right, so what do we do now? Nanafun. They have built quite the attack here. Right. I think I need to remove this token. Maybe this is the wrong thing to do. Maybe this accelerates my attack at the expense of decaying everything over here. I don't know. Yeah, like maybe night takes would have been safer, but that looked immensely dangerous with, against a rook drop. Oh, never mind. Um. My house is back in order. Very good. Nothing to worry about now, but fear itself. So, I'll take a lance. If they take this, we just drop the lance right there. I'm not sure what my next move is otherwise, if they don't fall for this trap. Um, maybe just bring the horse back somewhere around here. Okay, if pawn takes pawn, then the Nifu rule prevents them from blocking this file. So we exploit the Nifu rule. And exploit that somehow, like, I still don't see a check. You would think by now they'd have some amazing check to like explode this position into a thousand pieces, but I'm looking and looking and looking and I'm not seeing it. So maybe I'm fine.
五分。So yeah. My right side of the board is collapsing, and I'm trying to pull things back together. And it's pretty hot mess. Threatening to take this pawn, also threatening to take that pawn. I'm not sure which threat is the bigger threat. I think taking this one, just given where rooks generally belong. Um, this is interesting. If the king goes up, I have a silver drop, so yeah, the king has to ditch. Um, doesn't have to ditch, but... Ditching's predictable. And then I think I'm going to run to the left as soon as I get one turn to do it. I think that one turn comes very soon here. Actually, I'm threatening to take this pawn, aren't I? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, sure. I guess that makes sense. My whole point was that this was going to be my escape route. So my opponent's point is that my point is invalid. It makes sense for them to make that argument um, whether or not it prevails. So pawn up, pawn takes, silver drop, and that's it. One, two, three, mate. Do I have faster? I don't... Oh, maybe. I don't think so. I think one, two, three, mate is the fastest I'm going to get. One. Also, if they try to stop this, my rook joins. And they might be able to stop it. But then they're investing time to try to stop my thing. Oh, this blocks my horse. Alright, I missed Thumb that. Boom. Um... Maybe I sack the horse anyway? Hmm. 
Hmm. 2分30秒 Let's try this. Silver drop takes. That's one threat. Well, actually, yeah, let's check first, and that's this is gonna mate immediately, unless they do something about it. Uh, taking here also introduces this bishop check. Maybe I have a silver drop here. All right. Well, this mates, so let's play it. Like this, unless I've completely missed something, this is mate. Two down, one to go. Let's do it. Good luck. Ooh, 20Q with three consecutive wins. These are the opponents we don't know anything about. It can be scary playing against such... I don't know, an uh, opponent that can sometimes be hard to predict. Um, so one thing I've learned about these attacks is they're more successful if you just throw the whole kitchen sink at the attack. Um, so like pushing this pawn in particular and then this pawn also, like having adjacent pawns participate can help um, ensure that when the attack hits it hits really hard. But we also need to take a little time to build a castle of our own. I keep being told don't push this edge pawn. We're gonna see what happens if I don't. I'm a bit skeptical here. But I didn't play the move right correct the move order correctly either. Um the opponent blocks their bishop. I've played this pawn to divide the board in the left side and a right side. So I don't need to watch both sides of the board simultaneously. I can solve either half independently. Um, and then respond appropriately on the other half if something notable happens. Hmm. Hmm. 
It's the silver movement indicates that a punch is coming. Also indicates which direction the punch is coming from. Um, oh, this. Well, shit. Uh, gotta take it. Don't have a choice there. I think, though, they probably wanted the silver to join this attack immediately. And they didn't get what they aimed for. Yeah, I don't think that's exactly what they were aiming for here. Um... So they're probably going to bring the silver in soon. Maybe they haven't seen this castle before. I don't think I've played it before. Oh, wait. If the silver joins, like, this is an open target. Uh, by that, I meant to say an easy target. And... <laughs> I mean, yeah, you could sacrifice a bishop to take it, but really your silver was just as capable of attacking that square. There's no need to do anything this fancy. Um, hmm. I don't have a pawn. That's not good. Hmm. That's the most expensive blocking piece ever. Mm -hmm. I was going to sack that to take this gold. I really wanted to do that. Maybe I still want to do it. This is going to suck. They're going to push the edge pawn. I'll take. The lance takes, and then we sack here. Oh. I didn't foresee that. Um, Alright, this is atrocious. This is even worse than expected. Taking the gold would at least have had some merit. Um, All right, we're going to open this diagonal. Because I'm tired of not using my pieces. And we're also going to make some effort to use the rook. And the opponent's just going to say no and take it, but at least we made an effort. This is pain. Because there's nothing I can do to stop this. Oh, I'm sorry. No, I could sack the bishop, drop a silver here, and try to slow the bleeding. Um, but no, they've got complete control over this. And the only way I have a chance of winning is if I beat them on time. It, so it seems. 
They've played a good defense. They've played an extremely strong offense. Welcome. And yeah, this is my first time playing this shape, and now I see they've oh. Well, that's interesting. Okay, they're gonna win more material. That's fine by me. I say after immediately after complaining that I'm going to lose material. Yeah, I'm of two mindsets here. One is, oh boy, this sucks because I have no attack and no defense. The other is, well, maybe we can make something happen. Um, Go so if I could control this square, then they push the edge file, and this continues to suck, but maybe somehow we can make it suck a bit less. But yeah, they're threatening to drop here, and I don't have a pawn to defend with. I need this pawn. Realistically, I'm just having a temper tantrum here, but... Maybe there's some point to what I'm doing. Without golden hand, there's no defense. They have a golden hand, by the way. I'm exchanging my bishop back to get another gold. But they've thoroughly smashed this file open. So... I kind of needed to do this. What I first saw is that they would want to chase this rook, and I saw incorrectly, because I'm not a mind reader. That's unfortunate. Couldn't trick them into chasing my rook. Well. How can I pursue this now? <laughs> okay. They are all over this position. I'm impressed. Shit. That's good. All right. That is showing tactical alertness and awareness that not many possess. Uh... Sampun. Mm hmm. Oh, crud. Wow, I'm getting eaten alive here. That's impressive. Right, right, right. right.
Thanks for the game. Yeah. He knows how to attack. He definitely knows how to attack. So I'm impressed. Um, maybe you're not as impressed as I am, but... Yeah, they've upgraded once more. Um, overall, they've, they've got a pretty good record. You notice uh, my percentage, I'm floating around the halfway mark. Like, a couple months ago, I was floating around, like, 20%, so I'm doing better than previously, but still nowhere near 10-minute um, Wandan yet. So, we'll see what we can do. But yeah, if these ranks tell you anything, it's that the rank doesn't tell you anything. So, like I was saying. Oh, yeah, you're right, actually. Who am I to say what these ranks mean anyway? But anyway, yeah, the, my point was that I'm still not near the promotion. Uh, at least in the 10-minute category. But we'll get there. Thanks for watching.